Get On Family, I'm Christine Bullock. This is your tone and burn workout. No props necessary. You're here, that's the hardest thing to do. Let's get our burn on. So the first thing we're gonna do is start with a warm up. I want you to take your feet a little wider than hip distance and feet parallel. Inhale, reach those arms up to the sky. And you're gonna take a nice low squat drop through the arms. Inhale, just grounding ourselves through our breath. Exhale, really focusing on the workout today, letting everything else go. And then on this last, next one, you're just gonna forward fold. So drop it down, you can kind of shake out through the hips. You're gonna walk over to that right leg and reach and twist, it's one of my favorite stretches. And you're actually gonna bend through the left knee, the opposite knee stretch. So great if you ever have a, a tight low back, which most of us do. Just stretch through it, press and open through the knee, release, and then you're gonna face that right leg and you're gonna lower through, lengthen to the back leg, lift through the chest, opening up through that hip flexor so we can get the most mobility and work out of the muscle. Exhale, press, lift the toes and press through the heel, lengthen through the legs. Let's do two more like that, opening up through the joints of the hips. <sighs> Inhale and exhale. <sighs> you know what, let's take a twist too. So open up towards that knee, reach up to the sky, set your intention for this workout lower down and you're going to keep the knee bent turn the toes towards me a low squat here you may be up nice and high that's totally fine you're going to work down towards this i find that the flexibility creates that most most youthful feeling and looking body and then we're just going to turn it to the other side so low lunge open up through the chest heart opener and then press back hamstring stretch <sighs> inhale reach feel the oxygen filling through the body exhale press back Inhale, lengthen, exhale and press. You're gonna step your foot back to a downward facing dog. Press back through the heels. Just a, like a little cycling, heel up, heel down, lengthening through the calves. And then you're gonna walk your hands back to your feet. Shake your head out. Are you ready? Now let's get our tone and our burn on. So we're gonna start with the first set is standing. And if you like, you can always add a light set of weights. If you've been doing this for a while, add it to the arms. But I like it with that to really focus on the low body burn. So feet are wider than hip distance. You're gonna turn the legs out from the hip, so slightly, it's like to a two o'clock and a 10 o'clock. Inhale, chest up, and exhale. And you can lower down into your, your low plie or your low squat here. You can keep your hands at your hips or reach them out nice and long. And we're just gonna inhale up, Exhale down. We have about 10 reps of each of these exercises you'll see too. We're building on the burn and that's what creates the tone. And exhale, inhale and exhale. And really you're working not only the glutes here but I'm squeezing through my inner thighs, my hamstrings, the back of the thighs, all those tend to be trouble areas because we don't like to use them as much. So I really want you to feel like you're squeezing the legs together. That uses the core as well. Nice long spine. Good. We have three more here. Pressure is in the heels. And one, and now we're gonna add on. So as you come down, you're gonna reach over to your right side and come up. We're getting a little waist work through this. Reach and up and reach and up, and long arms, and up. One, this feels great on the spine, especially if you're sitting around, if you're working, if you're picking up kids, if you're on your phone leaning over, we're getting that beautiful length. But also, it's a different way to work the core. Most people are always doing crunches forward. These are like crunches to the side. And two more, one each side. Last one and you're gonna come down and now just burn. We're gonna build that fire for 10. Tiny, but with intention. So pressing into the heel each time. It's not just kind of like a floating around and dropping into it. I'm still squeezing through my heels together. Arms are up. I'm getting the toning through my shoulders. Now we're gonna lift our right heel. Pulse for 10. Good. I'm starting to feel the shake a little bit. Switch heels. So you'll find if you're 
just to my classes here that I like a lot of lengthening and toning to create mobility, but also really deep strength. So we're gonna add on to this, this strength right here. We're gonna lift the other heel. You have to find your balance. You can always come down to your heels, take it where you need to. We're gonna pulse here. That's where that really engaging through the thighs and the core um, really come in handy to stay up here. Pulse it out. And hold. Drop down through the heels. We're gonna turn over through a revolving lunge now. So stay low, turn over to your right. You can bend the knee and open up. Close, it's like a sandwich. And then you're gonna lift and open through that glute. So we get lots of sculpting in this. Open and stay nice and low. You're gonna stretch through the front of the body. Try not to let the core drop open, pull into it to get the most out of this exercise. We're here for a short time. Let's get it all in. Great, and open. Last one, we're gonna stay to the side in the lunge, keep it down, keep the burn, and we're just gonna press and lengthen through this leg. So core in and press for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bend the knee, lower down for 10, two. Are you guys feeling it? Am I here alone? <laughs> This is already starting to like warm up my whole body, not just my lower body. Five more, four, three, two, one. Stay low, open up. We obviously have another leg here. So pulse and lengthen, two, three. Keep those arms up, breathe into the muscle. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bend the knee, lower down as low as you can, and lift. Pressure is in the front heel. And every time you come up, you can breathe out, draw that core in. Two more. Good, hold it here. We're gonna open and revolve one more time. Stay low, this is it. We're gonna break after this, you can do it. You gotta change the body, you have to push past those limits. Good, keep it up and open. <sighs> Breathe into it. One more, stay here in the center. Lower down nice and deep. And come up. Woo, we did it together. It's the beginning part of your tone and burn. That's the only standing part. So now you get to come down to the mat. So come on down and we're gonna do an all four series. So first thing I want you to do to set up is come onto all fours. Hands are underneath shoulders and knees are underneath, underneath hips, underneath the, your hips. And I want you to take your feet out to the side and you're gonna drop your hip back. So you're gonna take it to the left so that your right leg kicks back. So it's called child's play and you know how you stretch back for child's pose, except this one's a little bit twisted so you get this nice stretch to the low back again and then you're gonna kick up. And you're gonna press back and you're gonna kick up. So come on with me if you haven't started already. We have 15 here, and kick. And you'll see I switch it up with my exercises a bit because I really believe in, one, switching it up, tricking your body to get the most out of your workout programs. That's why, you know, Fit On is amazing. There's such a variety of exercises and teachers that you have here that you're always switching it up. But also, just with the same teachers, I wanna give you a variety. It's good to use your brain too, you know? And lower, and lift. And you don't have to kick as high as I am today. You're always building on that. You can take a little extra padding under your knees if you need it. Good, last three, and two, and one. And pull it in. Now you're gonna take your knees forward again. That was a nice stretch so that I could do the next exercise with you. You're gonna step your foot forward to like a low lunge. You can push into it a bit and then you're gonna pull your knee up and kick back. Think of like an attitude kick. So start with me here, take your foot forward. It might be here today, that's fine. Maybe you can get a nice big lunge out of it, open up through the inner thigh, lift the leg and kick around. We'll take it a little faster now and kick. 
lower, and you're working that upper outer thigh. What do we call it, I guess, people? Saddlebags. <laughs> working that whole area with this for full lower body tone and burn. And lift. And you know what, if your hips are really tight, you could take two yoga blocks, you could be up higher, you could take a chair so that your chest is up a little bit higher if the pressure is too much on your hands. Sometimes I like to come up on my fists as well. And press. Good. Three more. Lower. This is a great workout for the morning. Your body just feels so lengthened, mobile, warm for the day. And lower down, and you're gonna come in, and then you're just gonna take this turned out kick and lower and lift. This one's pretty easy, you don't have to think about it, it's just a lower and lift. Good. And six, seven core in, long spine. Eight, nine, 10, five more, and one, two, three, four, and five. Two more exercises here, so drop down to your forearm. It's your left forearm to kick your right leg. And you're gonna pull your leg in, you're gonna kick down low, pull it in, kick high, pull it in, kick back. Get the most out of one exercise. Here we go. Low, in, high, and to the back. A little faster now, so pull, and and back, and low, and high, and back, and low, and high, and back. And every time you pull that knee in, really pull in through the core. So you're getting that nice oblique action right here. And back, and low, and high, back, good. A little more than halfway through. Get the burn, get it high. Good, and press. Three more, and press, you can do this. Two more, last one, up, and press. You're gonna love my next one. We're always building with intensity here. Come back to all fours. You're gonna tuck your left toes. You can tuck both toes to start off with. We're gonna pull the knee in, and we're gonna kick it to like four o'clock with your right leg. You're gonna pull it in again, and if you wanna take this up a notch, you lift the back knee and kick again, and lower down. So you can keep it here and just keep kicking, and then you just kick again, or with me, in, out, in, plank, lift. In, out, in, plank, lift. In, out, in, plank, lift. I'm always building, we're always working that whole body, so even though I have a lower body focus, you can see you're working your chest, your shoulders, your core with all of these. And press halfway through. And press. And press, good, five more. And core in. You can do this. Four. And three. And if you're doing this, I wanna see you doing this. So post it, tag me in this. I wanna share it with the whole Fit On fam. Last one, good. 